first question that the committee has prepared is Governor Branstad's budget proposes a $30 million cut to community colleges, including $4.5 million cut to DMAC. Can you support such a reduction that would result in the largest tuition increase in community college history? Let's start. When we talk community colleges and DMACs, and then we, we look on the other side of it where we're willing to give big corporate tax breaks to big corporations so that they can spend the money here in Iowa and create these new jobs. It goes hand in hand with our community colleges and our DMACs. If you're gonna bring jobs into this state, we also need to be ready and, and educate these people so that they can fill the job needs of state Iowa. And it is also proven that community colleges over regions and, and DMAX. When those people graduate from those community colleges, DMAX, they stay right here in Iowa. A high percent of them are stay right here. So they will fill these new jobs that our big corporations are going to create for us. So they go hand in hand. And we need to support our community colleges and our DMAX uh, as well as we do the big corporations to keep them here and get them educated for the new jobs and new tasks that are at hand. So can I support big cuts like this? No, DMAC and community colleges have been cut hard the last how many years, and it will continually have to, either the, the programs are gonna have to cut certain things out of the program to keep the tuition costs down, or they're gonna have to add the tuition costs. So uh, no, it's gonna be something we're gonna have to definitely look at strong to keep that equal balance in there if we wanna keep our workforce going. And these are areas that we need to work with. Senator. What I would tell you is that I'd start, I'd start by saying that I got a request this week to have to bring back the budget bills. And I want to tell you, there aren't any budget bills. So all of these are proposals that we're talking about. They don't, they don't <coughs> actually aren't in place anywhere. We got the governor's recommendations, which is a proposal. And then we'll go through this budget subcommittee process to actually originate uh, the bills that will take place. Historically, Governors have always undershot the, the budget for the community colleges knowing full well that the legislature has been much more supportive of community colleges and will put that money into the budget. So do I think it will end up where it's at? No, I don't. Will there be some shared sacrifice as we try and get a sustainable budget? Yeah, there's going to be. So I wouldn't say that there won't be some, some cuts that take place in community colleges and many other places uh, because we simply can't go on uh, the way we are, passing budgets with money that we aren't receiving anymore from the federal government, taken from one-time places. So yeah, I, I, I doubt that we will uh, uh, do a cut like this, if there'll be a cut, probably. Um, but not to this significant level. Uh, will we all support a budget uh, in the end? Probably most of us will support a budget that gets done in the end, um, but there's going to be some reductions, not just with community colleges, but others. One comment about the big bad corporations and all of that, uh, it's not $25 million. It's, uh, it goes in Iowa to 12% at $250,000. The second question that we had for you was Bill HF8, which is the voter ID bill, has passed the House State Government Committee. It requires voters to show proof of identification at the polls. This also applies to those doing same-day registration at the polls. This potentially poses a negative impact on older Iowans and Iowans with disabilities. And what is your position on this bill? Well. It's already gone through the House, and my position on that was a no vote. And the reason for a no vote, first of all, we have only had 24 cases in probably the last four years that has had anything to do with voter fraud in the entire nation. And the studies say you can walk outside and be struck by lightning twice before you're going to have voter fraud problems. So what I'm saying is our system is, is working quite well. This is not an item that really needed to come up. Um, it's, it's buying time, it's taking time from us in our voter registration way it has worked now, has worked well. In fact, we have it on the books. If somebody working the polls do not know who you are or whatever, they
they always have had the right to ask for identification of who you are. And this is just, it does make it harder for them. For those people in our citizen that, that does not have a car or have a driver's license, now they're going to have to go to the courthouses at the cost of our local courthouses. It isn't going to be a big cost, but at the cost of them, give them a free voter ID identification card. Uh, and our elderly people, it's going to make it a little more difficult to them. And when we talk about uh, absentee validity, this has no play on that at all. This is just for those that are going to polling place to vote or same day voter registration. So I voted no on this bill. Uh, it passed through the House. But it's really not very important because we had a very good system already in place and it hasn't had a problem. I, yeah, obviously the, the bill hasn't even reached the Senate yet or, it goes or, or will be read in soon if it's been passed in the House. So I haven't taken a position on it. I will, however, tell you that I will support anything that improves the integrity of our voting process. So if this bill will, will improve that integrity, then I will support it. Uh, the, the, the comment that goes along with the question about the negative impact on islands, I, I went to the Secretary of State's office and visited with them uh, with regard to that comment in this question, and their answer was that that assertion is without merit. So. Uh, I know the Secretary of State campaigned on this issue almost exclusively, so it is a high priority for the Secretary of the State. Um, the other comment I would make is currently there are about 73 Iowans, 73,000 Iowans who receive a, a non motor, non-driver's non license identification card. It's done at the cost of the DOT. It's not done at the cost of the courthouse. Um, I don't think it will impose any particular problems. You're correct uh, for, for uh, voting by mail or voting from your home. There is absolutely no, no impact whatsoever. Having said all this discussion and gone on through the debate that you went through, I'm not sure this bill will be brought up in the Senate. 